G'day and welcome to another video. In today's lesson we're going to learn how to make this really cute butterfly. I've left the tail long at the back so I can attach it to a project. There is a free written pattern located on my website and I'll put the link that you need in the description box. This is a great little project if you don't know how to read a pattern. So go and go ahead, print out the pattern or you know have it on a tablet or your, your phone and you can follow along with the video. So it's a great little project to learn how to read a really easy pattern. It uses small amounts of yarn and I've used Red Heart Shimmer. This is available from redheart.com. Redheart.com is a great place for inspiration as well as gorgeous, gorgeous yarn. This is made in 8 ply and it's also a double knit. It is a category 4 yarn but it is quite thin. This is Red Heart Super Saver and as you can see it doesn't take up much yarn. This one doesn't have a tail at the back because i sewn in all my ends. Different types of yarn and different thicknesses and also different size crochet hooks. I'll give you all the information that you need for each type of yarn. But if you would like to make them even bigger, you can use two strands of yarn at once. And I think that would make a really cool butterfly. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started on the lesson. For our supplies we're going to need a yarn needle with a large eye. We're going to need a pair of scissors and we're going to need some yarn to make our butterfly. You can use worsted weight, I and mean, you can really use any yarn that you like, but if you're using worsted weight I would recommend a 5.5 or an eye size crochet hook or a size 9 and a size 4mm which is about a G size or a size 7. What you really need is one that you would normally use with the yarn you want to use and then one that's a couple of sizes smaller because we use the smaller crochet hook for the the little antennas. I'll just show you this bit. We just oop, try to get away. We use it for this part here so that it's um, nice and stiff and it, st it stands up. If you use the same size crochet hook I find that it was too floppy. But I'm going to be using, so I'm going to put my 5.5 aside, I'm going to be using Red Heart Shimmer and this is just so pretty and what a perfect colour for a butterfly. So Red Heart Shimmer, it's a category 4 but it's actually quite a thin yarn. I wouldn't say that it was a worsted weight yarn, I would say it's more of a uh, DK or an 8 ply yarn and where's the colour? It's colour number 2, so that's the cream. I'm not really sure on this colour. Hang on a second, I can actually see one. Oh, just direct across. It's colour number 9. In a plastic bag. It's colour number 9 for the blue. That was handy. And these are just leftovers from a project I did, so I just caked them up. And for the 8 ply or the double knit yarn, I'm going to be using a 4mm or a G size crochet hook or a size 7 for the larger hook. And then for the smaller one, I'm going to be using a 3.5 or an E size crochet hook. So, so you basically you want one that's recommended for your yarn, which is your big one, and then one that's a size or a couple of sizes smaller. So with the bigger crochet hook, we are going to get the main colour that we want to use. So I'm just putting the other side and finding the end. I absolutely love this yarn. It's such a gorgeous colour. And the sparkle, and I'm sure this is coming up on camera, but it's definitely not showing through my viewfinder. But it's so sparkly. So pretty. And I love... Again, my viewfinder is not showing up, but this just sparkles so nice. So for this project, we are going to start with a magic ring. You could do a chain four and join, but I think the magic ring is going to work a lot better for this project. So we're going to make our magic ring. And you can do this any way you like. 
and grabbing your bigger crochet hook we are going to chain three into the ring we want to work three double crochets so yarn over go in pull up pull through two and pull through two I'm going to assume that you know how to do a double crochet we need three all together so we need to do two more so you're going to have your chain three and then three double crochet we're going to do a chain three and we're going to slip stitch down into the middle Oops. so work a slip stitch and we're going to work a chain three so we're going to start that again chain three three double crochet into the middle of the ring and then chain three and slip stitch into the middle so that is the it doesn't look like it but that is the bottom part of the butterfly it would all come together when we pull that ring closed so now what we're going to do we're going to do the the biggest section which is the top section of the, the um, wings so we're going to chain four we're going to work three trebles so we're going to yarn over twice go down into the ring pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two and we need to do three of those all together so ripping twice through two through two through two we'll do that again And we want to so we've got our chain four and three trebles I'm going to chain four and then slip stitch down into the ring and we're going to do that again so we want to repeat the, the wing that we just did so we're going to chain four I'm going to yarn over twice and do three trebles So we've got chain four, three trebles. We're going to chain three, and then we're going to slip stitch into the ring. We're going to leave about two to three inches, just enough to sew in, and we're going to cut our yarn. And then we're just going to finish off. So at the moment we've got a squashed butterfly, it's not really anything at the moment. So what we want to do is grab the middle, the, the yarn that we've been working over, and we're going to pull it closed, and that's when the magic happens. So at first it's going to look like, yeah, like that, it's going to be all squashed again. But we will fix it. We want to pull that shut don't worry if you can't get it shut completely because when we make the little bit that goes through the middle and the antennas it will cover that up so we're going to sew now it ends and i know it doesn't look like a butterfly at the moment looks like he's been run over should have let him end a little bit longer but anyway you get that don't you sometimes 
and we're just going to stitch that into the back of the stitches and hide our, our tail, tail. So now we have our little butterfly, kind of looks like you could probably use it as a flower I guess, but we're going to turn this one into a butterfly so we're going to grab our yarn that we want to use for Supposed to be a center pull ball. Where is the center? Oh, here we go. So we're grab our yarn and we're just going to make a slip knot, leave a little bit of a tail. And I've just realized this is the same color as my background, but we're only going to do a chain, so it's not going to be too hard just to figure out what I'm doing. We're going to use our smaller crochet hook. And I did a chain of 20, but if you want to change that, then you're most welcome to. So we're just going to make a chain. And you want to do them quite tight, because you want them to stand up. You don't want them to be floppy. So after you've got your 20 chains, you're going to finish off. So you're going to cut your yarn. And you don't need to cut this very long, because... We actually might need to trim it. So you're going to finish that off, pull tight, and then pull tight on the other end as well. We're going to trim off the bits and pieces. And we're going to find the two treble bits. They're going to be at the top, which they'll be bigger than the double crochet sections. I'm going to grab our chain. I know it's really small, but it doesn't have to be very big. So we're just going to fold it in half. And we're going to put part of the treble on one side and then the double crochet on one side. And then we're going to have trebles on this side and double crochet down the bottom. We just want to put the yarn. Okay, so the Sorry, the tails need to be at the treble end. I'm just going to turn that sideways, it's easier. You're going to put the loop around the back. Because we're just sort of... I do not know what this is called, if it's a knot or whatever. But you're going to thread your tails. It's like adding fringe to a scarf. Pop your tails through that loop. And it's going to be all weird at the front, but that's fine. We're going to pull this tight. And you want to... Like I said, it's going to be a bit weird. But what you want to do... is make sure the antennas are at the top. So they're at the top where the treble sections are here and here. You're going to pull that as tight as you can get it. So see how now it looks like it's the right size, where before it looks really tiny and it's like, that's really not going to fit. And luckily the little butterfly doesn't have any feelings, but we need to pull these wings. It looks so cruel. Pull these wings out. Or her. Pull the wings out. And then pull that tight again. Then we're just going to trim off the tops here. See so if we can get that the same length. There we go. And trim them off, and you can trim them off wherever you like. Just making mine really short. You wouldn't believe it, I actually changed my background this morning from the dark grey to the cream because I'd been using the dark grey a lot. And now I'm using a cream yarn and it doesn't stand out in the background. Shocking. Now this may come undone, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to grab some yarn that we used for our antennas. I've just got about oh, six inches, not very big. 
one more yarn needle. I'm just going to stitch that down because if that accidentally comes loose, the antennas are going to fall off. It's going to work from the back. I'm going to put the needle through there and then just through. the bit that goes across across there I don't know why I'm making this look so hard if you can't get it through that bit that goes across we'll just, I'm just going to go under it that'll do, that's close enough and then I'm just going to go through over the top You want to actually go through some yarn, otherwise it's not going to hold it in place. Making sure that's... yep, so that's going to secure that down. You could do that a few times if you wanted to. Let's see if I can... This is a bit stiff. This needle is not very sharp, which is good because I can't stab myself with it. <laughs> it's really easy to get through. We're going to tie that in a knot. Don't normally tie knots, but it's actually. Oh, and if you want to sew this to something, you can leave one of these tails long. So I'm going to leave that one long. And then I'll sew in the shorter one. And again, you just want to sew it in on the back into the same colour that you've got. So I want to go into my cream. And I'm going to do this off camera because you know how to sew an end in. So here we go. Here is our little butterfly. I'm just going to give him a bit of a straighten out. Oh, he's so cute. I don't know if that's sparkling. It is a little bit. Yeah, I can see it there. But the cream one has a... I'm not sure what you call it, but like a... Is it iridescent? Is that the right word? And it kind of changes colour when it sparkles. So cool. So I'm going to, like I said, leave that tail. And then if I want to sew him onto something. He's so cute. I want to just have him everywhere. So we're going to sew that onto something. And he's going to look adorable. So this is the 8 ply double knit. And this one is worsted weight. I didn't actually stitch that down. I just thought of that when I was making the video. So that could actually really easily get loose. So yeah, stitching that down will keep that in place. Look at the difference in size. So cool. And of course if you use a bigger crochet hook, I'm, I think I think I actually used a 6mm for that one. But if you use a bigger crochet hook, you could also use two strands of yarn at once. That will make it really big and that would be really awesome. So I hope you enjoyed this quick little video. <laughs> so cute. I hope you enjoyed it and subscribe. We always have videos being uploaded to Bob Wilson123. If you would like to check out more of my videos, click on my username and that will take you straight to my channel, which will show you all my videos. Don't know if I've already said it, but please subscribe. Yeah, I think I already have. But please subscribe, because then you won't miss out on a video and you get them all sent to your subscription feed. Thanks for watching, and until next time, happy crochet. G'day, and welcome to another video. In today's lesson, we're going to learn how to make this uh, help you read along with the pattern, and also, yeah, no. <laughs>